Hello and welcome to the Dell Storage Manager Virtual Appliance Demo Video. My name is Darren Schmitz, part of the Storage Applications Engineering team here at Dell EMC. In this video, I'm going to give an overview of the DSM Virtual Appliance, some deployment and configuration tips, and then a demonstration. The DSM Virtual Appliance is deployed from an OVA and runs as a VMware vSphere virtual machine in the infrastructure. The virtual machine itself runs CentOS 7 and has feature parity with the Windows deployed version of the data collector. The only difference is that the new data collector manager runs using an HTML5 interface. This virtual appliance can be used as a primary or a secondary data collector. And one of the new features is that you can import or export existing DSM configuration information from a DSM data collector that is already running in the environment. When you are deploying and configuring a DSM virtual appliance, here's some tips and things you should gather before you begin. First, download the latest DSM virtual appliance OVA from Dell.com. Second, check the DSM installation guide for the latest requirements regarding memory and storage space. Depending upon how many SC series arrays are configured in the environment will change how much RAM needs to be dedicated to the virtual machine. Step three, obtain a static IP address and a DNS host name for the VM. While it can use DHCP, a static IP and host name is highly recommended. Fourth, if you're going to use this virtual machine for production use, you need connection information to connect to a supported database to store the statistics. Last, you need to find a VMware ESXi host or cluster that meets the minimum resource requirements. Now, let's give a demonstration. When I log into my vCenter cluster, I'll first right click on that and say deploy from OVF template. From here, I browse to a local file and select the OVA that I wish to deploy. Then I click on Next. There are some details of the OVF template. I just click Next. I accept the EULA and say Next. I give this a name. I'm going to call this the DSM Virtual Appliance, DSM VA for short. And say Next. I now pick a data store that I want to deploy this to and say next. Select a VM network that I want the virtual machine to reside on and say next. This is where I provide the IP and hostname information. I will select a static IP. the domain name, an IP address, network mask, default gateway, and a DNS server. Say next, review the information, and say finish. In a few minutes, the OVF will be deployed into the cluster. Now that the virtual machine has been deployed, we can power it on. Once the virtual machine is done booting, we can now log in to the web setup. To access this, I put in the host name. Slash setup. At the login screen, the initial credentials are config, 
and del, all lowercase. That will bring us to the Getting Started wizard. First I click Next. Data Collector Type, I'm going to make this a primary data collector and say Next. This is where you will put in your SQL Server connection information. It can be a Microsoft SQL Server or a MySQL Server. For this demo, I'm going to select an internal database and click Next. Remember that by using the internal database, statistics will only be stored for 30 days. Also remember that the internal database is not recommended for production use. The next step, I will create the administrative user. Specify a password and say next and finish. Confirm, which will restart the appliance. Once the data collector services have started, we can now log in with the administrative credentials we just created. This will bring us to the new HTML5 administration page. First thing we can do is add a storage center. We're going to add one of the storage centers we have in the lab. And say OK. This will bring us to the summary page. For those familiar with the Windows version, remember that there was the Dell Storage Manager data collector with the red icon. All of the Dell Storage Manager data collector settings have been migrated to the HTML5 interface. To access it, click on Dell Storage Manager up at the top and say Data Collector. All of the options, such as creating additional users, creating groups, and password configuration have all been migrated to the new HTML5 interface. In addition, we can still access the web services of the data collector. Here, you can download the traditional DSM client, the Linux installer if you want to install it on a Linux machine, the server agent, this is where you can also find the documentation and also client installers. Thanks for watching. For more information, please visit dell.com/storageresources.